Hey, this is Evan from Octane and Electrons, and uh, today I'm going to do a video on the Autofix 7150. So this is a really cool OBD uh, scanner and tool. Um, it's a, a bi-directional tool that can actually like reset, you know, monitors and actually trigger different maintenance things uh, on your vehicle. So. You know, I have a lot of other um, OBD scanners, and they're great, um, but a lot of them don't do advanced stuff uh, that you need on, like, I have a Ford 6.0 turbo diesel uh, F350, and most scanners won't read all the, like, advanced modules in one of those. So, anyways, I was looking for one, and Autofix um, sent me one of these guys to do a video on, and I'm really impressed with it. It's actually a great, great tool. Um, you can see service reset. Throttle adaption, I don't know what that means. Um, brake life reset, DPF on diesels. Mine doesn't have DPF, but um, anyway, so it looks nice, packaging's great. And let's see all the functions here. Um, my truck doesn't necessarily have all of these, but it does just about everything you could think of. So anyways, let me go ahead and open it here. I have already opened it and checked to make sure it was up to date, which it was, so there was no update necessary. But it comes with the tool. Let's see if I can get a good focus here. So it's got a really nice color screen. It's got a really nice rubberized cover, plastic case. The button feel is really good. Um, it's got about a, I don't know, two foot cable or so, two and a half feet, OBD2 connector, and it comes with a USB cord uh, for updating from your computer, USB port on the bottom, and it is very easy to update. Um, I did it on Windows, uh, checked, no problem. And you have your card and user's manual inside. That covers pretty much all the functions. If you've used one of these scanners, they all work pretty similarly, so it's not very uh, hard to figure out, and it is really intuitive. So there's not a lot to look at right here, but we'll get in the truck and hook it up, and I'll show you um, how it works on the 2006 uh, F350. All right, so I am here in my truck, a 2006 uh, Ford F350, and you can see I have my key turned to on. I have a scanner plugged into my OBD port and let me go ahead and set my phone down so we can look at some of this. Okay, great. Okay, so first we'll go to OBD and let it connect. This will scan through all of the different communications types until it finds the right type for your vehicle. Um, so here we can see any diagnostic codes, if the check engine light is turned on for any reason, um, and readiness states, data streams, um, ignition spark, I'm not sure why it says that since this is a diesel, so I'm not positive about that, um, and CAN bus protocol. But that's all we can do here, I believe. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we can read any trouble codes from different engine computers, different computers on the vehicle. So this truck doesn't have any, so I don't need to read or erase them. See if anything's ready or anything was triggered since the last drive. I don't know what the different ECUs are for this vehicle, but maybe it doesn't have them. Okay. Data stream. I believe we'll show you live data while the engine's running, which uh, it's not currently, but let's see what this says. Calculated load, engine temp, RPM, speed. Interesting. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Evap test. 
not supported. VIN number, calibration types, interesting, okay. So let's exit diagnostics, OBD2 diagnostics. So for my truck, um, I will go to the Ford settings in just a second, that's what interested me here. Oil reset, um, this truck doesn't have an oil life uh, on it in the computer, so that's not something I use. Um, I don't have brake uh, life monitor or anything, so that doesn't do anything. My truck, I tried the battery settings. The battery check works, but this doesn't have a battery life monitor, which is the other, the next menu item. Let's see what happens. Please start engine. Bell realized. See, I assume it's checking. There we go. Oh, very cool. Okay, so we get our charging voltage and it'll show a chart as well. That's pretty useful. Nice. Yeah, so battery monitor reset. This truck doesn't have it, so None of these options do anything uh, for my particular vehicle. And I didn't have to change anything in this the setup. Okay, so other than um, all these old resets are really useful if your vehicle supports them. Mine doesn't, so I can't really show you. The OBD settings um, or OBD functions are great, but that's pretty typical to any scanner. I have lots of other cheaper scanners that do t just standard OBD2 functions. So that's great, um, but not the main feature of this for me. This was what was really cool is with it, um, I, I assume since this model is specific to Fords, this is always here. Maybe it knows from the VIN number and this populates, I'm not positive, but it certainly shows for my truck. Um, so I say for Ford, and we're gonna look at the Ford specific things. You can set the vehicle type manually, but I found the identify works great. It'll communicate, it says what model year, maybe uh, the VIN number doesn't identify it enough, I'm not sure, but it's a 2006. So that's confirmed, it's the six liter turbo fuel injection, 2006, okay. Okay, so this was really cool, system scan. And it goes through and detects all of the Ford specific uh, computer modules on the truck. And this is what's awesome, because most standard typical OBD scanners don't do this, and they can't communicate with all of these things, the parking aid, which is the sensor, the parking sensors, powertrain control module, uh, restraint module, trailer brake controller, instrument cluster. Like this is this is awesome that this thing can talk to all of these things. The transmission control module. So I'm not going to do it here, but. Pretty cool, uh, all the brake ABS settings. Oh, brake fluid low, I guess I should check that. Brake on off, that's cool. So I'm putting the brake on with my foot, okay. Nice. Okay, that's interesting. And I don't think I have any fault codes. Yeah. I don't have any lights on or anything, so I'm not expecting it. I've noticed this with my, um, I use a, a Bluetooth OBD transmitter with Forescan, which reads and does a lot of advanced Ford specific tests. And I've noticed, so like I said, I don't have a check engine light, I don't have any error codes, but I have noticed with Forescan that I get um, some flags on the GEM gener generic electronic module and the instrument cluster, but nothing seems to be wrong and I'm not honestly sure why that is. So if I I launched this, I looked at this earlier. So I've read about this code and 
I, I'm not totally sure I understand it. It's something to do with having the key in the ignition throws this coat as a fault coat, even though I don't think it is a fault. Um, low battery voltage, which we saw earlier, it's not, so I'm not sure. These might be like really old cord codes that are stored and um, I'm not really sure. And I've seen this before on my other scanner, um, the four wheel drive fault, the transfer case fault. But none of these are seem to be active and the um, there's certainly no light and the four wheel drive worked perfectly. So I'm not really sure. I wonder where these are from or how old they are. I haven't found any way to like see when they were set. So honestly, I'm not really worried about them, but let's see if we can erase them here. I have the truck running. I hope that's okay. We'll see. Erase fault codes had success. Wait 10 seconds, turn ignition off and on again. And read fault codes to verify. Okay. So, let's see what happens. I just have the key on again. We'll see. Okay, I've cleared codes in the generic module. That's cool. So anyways, I'll keep an eye on that and see what happens. I don't know. I'm going to go back and let it repopulate these and see if it still still shows them. Let's see. No, they, they were cleared. Okay, so that's awesome. So I don't think anything's actually wrong there, but this is really useful on this truck. Now that I've cleared those uh, four-wheel drive and transfer case codes, it'll be really interesting to see if they come back. And like I said, I don't think I have any sort of problem, but I, I like that. Um, and again, this is awesome because I don't have another handheld scanner like this that can do this kind of stuff. This is really useful. So instrument cluster, I've looked at this. This gives me a code, I think, for ignition key. Ignition key in circuit error, and nothing seems to be wrong. And I've looked up that code online, and there's some confusion about it. So I don't think it's a problem. But you know what? Let's see. It's been there on my other scanner, like I said, so I'm not really going to worry about it. Let's erase it and see. Okay. Key off. Key back on. Let's go back and see. No fault codes. And I'm going to go back and rescan the system and see. Okay. That's awesome. I love it. So those are cleared and I'm going to check them again in another day or two and see if they come back. Again, I think they might be really old and just I have not had a scanner that could reset them. So I'm glad they're here for this video to show. So really cool. Let's see what data stream says. This, so this is what the trailer brake controller sees. That's really cool. Look, that's brake pressure as I put the pedal down. Let's see when I move the um, brake controller gain switch. Oh, that doesn't do anything right here. Huh. Really interesting. So anyways, this truck's in great shape and doesn't really have problems. I don't have a lot to troubleshoot here or really anything um, other than those codes that we're already showing. But man, if you have like some specific codes showing for your individual modules on a Ford truck, this it doesn't get any better in a handheld unit. This is awesome <laughs> to be able to read all this stuff. Super cool. Okay. So, like I said, this is really worth it for the Ford specific functions. So we can select individual uh, modules manually to diagnose them. That's really cool. Okay. So scan will check them and see if there is any codes and then let you look at them further. It'll warn you if there's anything wrong or tell you they're okay. Manual lets you select any of the computers on the vehicle and then uh, look at them individually. So special functions, this was really cool. I don't need to do it here, but 
Um, like on my old Duramax, I needed something like this to try and bleed the ABS pump. This is really cool to do bi-directional controls and be able to bleed the ABS pump this way. Clear transmission, adaptive tables. So I'm not gonna do that, obviously. I don't have any problems here, but having these functions available in a scanner less than $100, that's really cool. That's like almost dealership level <laughs> tech. So anyways, yeah, sorry I can't show you these other functions. This truck just doesn't have it, but um, I hope this, this helps. If you have a, a Ford truck with all these modules, this is the way to go. For less than 100 bucks, this is an amazing scanner that lets you do these things. Read all the individual modules and trigger um, the service tests and stuff. It's really cool. So anyways, yeah, I hope you like this. I hope this was a good walkthrough. I know this was kind of specific to my 2006 uh, 6.0 turbo diesel, but um, I'm sure it applies to other stuff as well. So I'm a big fan. These, um, these guys make nice scanners. So um, there's the user's manual. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Autofix 7150 is pretty awesome for Ford. So I would highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.